On December 5th, Rolando Roley Romero was scheduled to face three-division world champion Gervonta Tank Davis, but now things are looking quite complicated as of recently. Following multiple sexual assault allegations against Roley, Showtime's Steven Espinosa stated that the disturbing allegations will be taken seriously. And as a result of that, it looks like this fight is really likely to be scrapped. And Roley has been really silent on social media as of late, and that's something that's not a norm. And this is no coincidence, this is after the allegations were released to the public. And now that it looks like Roley will be out of this fight, who will Javante Davis face now? Remember, this is a pay-per-view event, so Tank's management will need to find him a pay-per-view worthy opponent. And that is going to be really tough at this time because Roley was the best thing they could find thus far. And Roley is a stablemate of Tank Davis in the Mayweather Promotions camp. And he has some eyes and some buzz on him because he has an unlikable persona. And people will tune in just to see if he will lose. And I think, just like I think that the Mayweather Promotions camp thought that that can sell and it really is a good marketing tool and floyd mayweather would know a lot about that aspect of the game because he was the most hated fighter last decade and he sold a lot of tickets and made a whole lot of cash off of it but nonetheless i really hope these allegations with roley aren't true and as for tank i'm really interested on in seeing who will be his replacement for roley like i said there are very few options that are eye candy for the public especially if this fight is going to be in-house there is a fighter at 135 by the name of Iza Cruz, who is a pretty good fighter, but I think he'll just be massively outmatched. Not as much as Roley was, but I just think Tank will be too much for him. And then there's Gary Russell Jr., who has been wanting to fight Tank for a really long time now, has been calling his name out, you know, saying that Tank doesn't want the fight. And Gary is a 126 pounder, but he stated he has no problem moving up and wait to fight Tank Davis. But most likely the fight won't take place in December. It may take place in January or maybe even February. Both fighters are born and bred out of the DMV area, so this fight can definitely sell. I think the venue just would need to be in the DMV area just to spice things up. Gary Russell has one loss and that one loss came to Vasily Lomachenko, an opponent that many people feel that Floyd kept Javante Tank Davis away from. And that is what also makes this fight intriguing. What if Javante Davis does a better job dismantling Gary Russell than Lomachenko did. Javante Davis and Lomachenko already share one common opponent in Jose Pedraza. And I believe, as well as many others believe, that Javante Davis handled Pedraza better. But a Gary Russell versus Tank, I like the fight, but it's not what I really want. I want the best fighting the best at 135. And Gary Russell is not in that conversation. I just hope whoever Tank's management finds for him to fight, it's pay-per-view worthy and I will enjoy it. I think I will enjoy it regardless. It is Tank Davis. He is one of the most entertaining fighters in boxing today, but I just want to see him fight somebody who was of significance. And to begin with, Roley wasn't that. He was just conveniently matched up with Tank. But in the comment section below, you guys let me know what you think of this development and who you think Tank Davis will fight next. Make sure you leave a like if you like this video. Make sure you subscribe. Follow me on all my social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And thank you for watching. If you guys are still here at the conclusion of this video, make sure you leave a like, make sure you subscribe, and check out one of these two videos.